So uh, I'm here with two of uh, MTW Mine Factory's players, uh, Dimaga and TT1. This guy just joined the team. Uh, what do you think of uh, him joining the team? <laughs> he's a nice guy. That's it? <laughs> no, he's my friend also, so it's really nice he's joining our team. And uh, you just joined, but how have they treated you so, so far? Uh, pretty good, you know, I just... By joining MTW, I get to be the manga a bit more in practice games, so it's a little bit more fun, I guess. What's, uh, what's your practice record with them? <laughs> it's secret. No, no, I was, I was joking. The manga wins most, a lot of the games, but at least I can now have a, a Zerker that I can practice with regularly, so it's really good for me. And uh, is he good? You win most of the games? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> yeah, it's 50-50. Oh, he's so nice. No, he's not. It's not 50-50, it's like more like, I'd say like 90-10. 90-10? Yeah, for him. <laughs> Protoss is OP, guys... so it's okay. <laughs> what? I said Protoss is OP, so 90 and 10 for me is okay. Oh, uh, okay. Do you, so do you think Protoss is the best race? No, I said it's just OP against Zerg. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you think that's the case? Of course not. <laughs> Middleists are way too strong in ZBG, I guess, or not. So what, what, uh, what race do you think is the strongest? Um, it's a hard question. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's really like player dependent, but like in ZVP, Mutas are pretty strong. In, in TVP, EMP is pretty strong. Every, ra every, I think every like matchup has like something that's like a little bit, a little bit. It's not like really a little bit over. <laughs> it's something that we work on. It's not like that big of a deal. What about you? Yeah, I'm agree. Okay. That's it. You don't have an opinion. <laughs> it's enough. <an honor. laughs> All right. Uh, so. You know, we haven't seen you guys at a lot of the North American events. Um, will you, you know, be traveling to more MLGs? Because I know you're based in North America, and I know you're in Europe, but, uh, you know, maybe uh, Grand Finals next time? Do you think there's a possibility for that? I don't know about MLG. I was traveling a lot, in, not a lot, just like two times in America, like two times in BlizzCon, and right now it's NASL. I don't know what next tournament will be in America for me. Uh, it can be possible, like maybe IPL, like, uh, like NASL, maybe MLG also. So I don't know. I don't mm, didn't have like right now for like future plans. So I'm not sure about what kind uh, competition it will be. You know. And you? Obviously, I'm gonna go to the all the MLGs next year. But I guess like uh, what MLG has to do for is to change your format. They want more European support. So. If they change your format and it's pretty good and the price below is pretty good as well, I think Europeans like the Maga and such are going to come over to the tournament. So I hope they'll do that. Anyways, I'm always going to be there. I'm always going to show up. But if they want like the European support, they have to do that. Yes. All right. Uh, I saw you guys backstage watching the GSL finals that just happened. Uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, on, on Jay Jackshi and uh, Linak? You first. Yeah, I just like, uh, saw this like few five games. Uh, first five games for this JSL uh, finals. I know scores already before, but I think Jack G is really good in. Is that I saw? He's really good at build orders. Like he has like really good mind games against Linux, but Linux has like a better standard games. You know? Yeah. That's how you're feeling like that. But normally I I know before this like JSL code S. And Jack G just start like become a top. Uh, he was I saw his few games against Zerg. He was was always like cheesy with two racks, but his micro was so so good, like like perfect. So yeah, it's I was pretty expected. Is two racks cheesy? Uh, yeah, I think so. Why not? Especially with proxy. Yeah, yeah. And, and what did you think about it? Uh, the few games that we saw, like, um, as Dima said, uh, he had really good builders. We saw one game, he, had, he did like proxy, command center, and it got scattered really late. He had a really big advantage, but even in that game, Linux sort of came back. So I felt like Linux had better execution, like better, slightly better mechanics. And then, but Jujaksha had like really good builders. The two standard games that we saw were on Belshir and Tall Dream? Uh, no. Ah, oh, the standard. Um, what's it? What's the other map? The cross position. Crossfire. No. No. Cross. No. No. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Whatever. The second game. He won two games. What? They were like the standard games. Like break. Break. Uh, yeah. Day. Uh, oh, daybreak. 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 Day yeah, break. it was on daybreak. Yeah. <laughs> Those were like the standard games, and he won them. And uh, we didn't get to finish the series. So up until game five, I felt like 
Yeah, the dual set was like also cheese. Like yeah, I push with ten marines and healers yes. from the base. But Morrow says like uh, leaning was bad in micro. I don't know, uh, but I didn't sell so the game. Yet. Uh Do you uh, guys have any opinions on which uh, which server's better, North America or Europe? <laughs> Not Just a, default. Like Korea, Europe, America. Of course. It's standard. Of course, like Europe is like far better than the US. It's not even like up. It's not even like up for discussion. Europe is much much better. Why? Why do you think that is? Yeah, yeah better players. <laughs> it's easy. More players. It's so easy. <laughs> like yeah, like the. The Americans, there's like maybe 10 really, really like solid players, yeah. but Europe, like, yeah, like 50, 100, no, maybe not 100, but like a lot more than US server. So, like, probably for definitely Europe. Uh, you plan the Europe server. Who do you think is underrated and people uh, are going to break out soon? Uh, I didn't know if they break out soon, but there's many underdogs, I think, right now in Europe. Like, a lot of players, especially from Eastern Europe, because like they see like. Um, like me and other pro gamers has a lot of money from this and it's a lot of money for Eastern Europe so they s start playing a lot, really a lot. Like so you live in like a mansion now? <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> yeah, but still like you have a lot of players. I don't, I can't, I don't want to like say names but it's like a lot of people. Well, you, that's good. You can say uh, some people that are underrated yeah, that right now. Too. Yeah, that are mm. better than their results thus far. Uh, you want to give some predictions? Want, no, no, I don't want to predict any, anything. Wait, what about you? I'll give predictions. <laughs> uh, Europe, I think, or really, is pretty good. He's underrated. Yeah, sure. That's the guy from uh, Belgium? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a Belgium Zerg. Um, who else? I don't know, like, mostly all the players, like, they're really known, but a lot of the players, like Moro, he's, like, one of the best players in the world, and he's really underrated. Everyone knows he's good, but people don't see him play in tournaments, so they, like, predict, they expect, they think that, He's like dropped off the map, like he's really bad now, but it's far from that. He's just been practicing a lot. Just because someone doesn't like attend every tournament, that doesn't mean like, you know, they've, they've like dropped down in skill level. So Moro is like a really good player as well, but I think like we pretty much know like all the good players right now. And uh, both of you guys have played uh, Brood War. You're all both old school. So uh, yeah. what do you think about 4GG playing in, uh, in uh, GSL? And the Brood War pros that are going to probably switch over later, how do you think they're going to do? Uh, they were going to do really good if they still practice it a lot like the same in, in Brood War. Like for G, he's playing like really a lot. He says like I'm playing like only two months, but it's... Mm, bullshit. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> 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 so he was playing really a lot also, like ladder with like a smooth account. So he become a really good because like he playing a lot and he started to understand all the stack of games. Because like stack of 2 is not stack of 1 at all. Like new game, new everything. You need to use to it. You need a time, really. But when if like uh, players like professional gamers start to play StarCraft 2, it will be the same. So they're going to be the best, you think? How 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 soon? How soon? Is they really need a lot of time. Yeah. What do you think? I also think the same thing. Like they have the mechanics. They're going to switch over. That's going to carry over. The only thing they have to practice on is like game knowledge, timings, and stuff yeah. like that. That's maybe going to take whatever. Like it depends how much they practice, of course. So. Maybe like six months, I think. Six months to eight months, about. So uh, I remember your ID on the ladder was Stork. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's a player that you're probably a fan of. Yeah. So you actually have a chance. Let's say he switches and you have a chance to play him, what would you think? Uh, it'd be awesome, of course. Like, well, I'm a really big fan of Stork, but of course it's always like, I always get like nos nos nostalgic whenever uh, I play old school SE1 players. I had that chance in uh, Korea. I played Nada. That was like a really big deal to me. So yeah, it'd be and like... And you beat him. Yeah, I beat him. <laughs> but yeah, and I got to meet like July. So those, yeah. I like those guys I had idolized while growing up. So for me, like that would be a huge deal if I get the, an opportunity to play them. And uh, you did pretty well too in that tournament. I remember. Um, what? Uh, how do you think the skill gap between you know the foreigners and the Koreans are right now? You think there's some? They got some good uh, good wins recently. Do you think that's going to continue? Yeah, for sure. That time was really, really fun and I was really lucky. <laughs> and that time I think maybe Koreans wasn't like so far away. But still... Yeah, right this guy beat Nasty. <laughs> it was like good, good luck two times. <laughs> and uh, right now, I don't know, I, like compare my skill and Korean skill, like Korean like get much more ahead. But like top Europeans like Nanima who is living in Korean, like Hak and maybe like a few other people is really like close to them, I think. 
Um, are you guys considering maybe going to Korea and training? Uh, do you think that's the best way to get uh, really, really good? Yeah, I think it's like the best way to to become a really, really good, like the best in the world. But I don't, I don't want, and uh, I don't go to Korea right now. What about you? I still didn't make uh, my choice, um, decision yet because I'm still studying right now. So, uh, but I'll be done soon. So maybe I have no plans right now. Though. Yeah, sure. Well, uh, thanks. I'll let you guys get back in there to watch the games. Uh, thank you very much for the interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.